feel much better now, thanks to you. I don't think I thank you properly down there. I was pretty shaken. I found a few Jedi artifacts down at the sub-levels. I was planning on selling them to Darala, but I'll sell them to you if you want them instead. I found three things down there. One some sort of crystal, and the others look like lightsaber parts. If you give me a thousand credits, you can have it all. That'll be enough for me to get off this rock. No returns on this, you're stuck with what you buy. Doesn't work that way. Maybe it's worth a lot more than a thousand credits and you make off real good. Maybe it's a lot less and I make off good. <laughs> a pleasure doing business with you. Now I can finally get passage back home. I hope that junk is worth it to you, I really do. Come back anytime. It'll take me a while to get everything set straight. Back again, huh? I don't know what more I can say to you, but it's nice to see you again, regardless. It was all Tapale's fault. She said the entryway to... We barely got in there. Then, before you know it, we were on... All the... And... Uh, nothing gets by you, huh? There was a group that... But they were a damn sight. They were the first... Only... It was, whatever. I think I was the only one that managed to find anything worth something down there. All the and it. Whatever you want. Back again, huh? But it's nice. Oh, that again. I sold Sulru the moisture vaporator in the same condition it was in when I found it. All right. Darala got there before me, and she just took the modulator because she was loaded down with the other stuff that Sulru abandoned. But after I sold the farmer back his moisture vaporator, I won the modulator from Darala in a game of stones. Finders keepers. I've got a permit that allows me to salvage anything on the Enclave grounds. I didn't make up the laws here, but... I abide by them all the same. You're a bit demanding, aren't you? If you want the modulator, I'll sell it to you for 500 credits, the same price I offer to Sulru. All right, just for you, I'll knock the price in half. That's 250 credits. Take it or leave it. Back again, huh? But it's nice. Oh, they like tunnels, and we never. Yes, General? Let me see what you have. That's everything. Now all you need is a little quiet time with the workbench. I hear you saved Jorah. What? Who is that? You go down into the sub...
Any luck on getting my modulator back from Joran? I don't think anyone here will be able to help me. Excellent. How did you deal with Joran? Really? You must have been very persuasive. I'm relieved this situation is finally resolved. You have more than earned this reward. A lot of people here hate Jedi, but when they were here, they tried helping. Yes? Is something wrong? Yes, General? A lot of people here hate Jedi, but when they were here, they tried helping us. A lot of people here hate Jedi, but when they were here, they tried helping us. Yes? Is something wrong? That is hardly surprising. Making a big mistake. There's good reason you don't know. I'll tell you what I tell all those grubby salvages. No body, no claim. I'm no longer even looking at wills or credit notes. And if you think that's gruesome, then go space yourself. Let me see the will. I'll be glad to get rid of this claim and get those salvages out of my headquarters. He left all his possessions to one of the other dead salvages. Will I ever get rid of that damn Jedi garbage? Guess nobody gets them now. The administrator will have to figure out what happens to them. And until then, the salvages are gonna keep bothering me. Do you need a hand? 
No, I don't. Go back to your training. I'll call you if I need someone useless. Is there some problem? I was only offering to help. Problem? No, no problem. Just wondering how long you're planning to stick around. For as long as she needs me, of course. How heroic of you. Well, she doesn't need you. In fact, we were doing just fine until you showed up. Actually, there are times when it seems you could use some help. Always with the details, aren't you? You can't fool me. You have some agenda. Spying on her, always keeping your eye on her. No, no, I don't. I, well, I simply admire her. She has many qualities worthy of respect, and a strength that matches her beauty. Surely you've noticed. Yeah, and I noticed first. Get it? So cut it out. And another thing, stop being all noble around her in your big hero way. She sees right through your little act. She likes honest guys, not guys who run around being unselfish and heroic all the time. I thought she was the hero. The more worlds we travel to, the more questions I have. It's not just the hardships of the people, but something more. You are right, but there is something more at work here. Yes, these dead worlds, they... well, they have a pattern to them. They were all touched by the Mandalorian Wars and the Jedi Civil War. But sometimes, well, I feel as if they are all connected in some other way. The attacks on Katar, Telos itself, the decay on Dantooine. Something is wrong with life. The connections have been damaged, sickened. Sometimes I feel like I almost understand and then it just slips away. So close. No, I do not. But I do think there is some greater plan at work here. Perhaps. Dantooine is only one of the worlds. It was only the start of the journey. I would like to study the other locations. It is curious that the Jedi Masters chose those worlds to travel to. I wonder if the two are linked, but I know not how. How many more do we intend to gather to us? This ship is not the galaxy. There is only so much room. Then prepare for an army, I think, for it seems many more will come in time. They will follow you because you are a leader. Their kind always needs such, even when the figure deserves no such obedience. Because I am not blind, that is why. I see what they see, hear their voices when they speak to you, and notice the change when they speak to others. I know many things, and I know what I am not. I am no leader. I speak with a voice that will never move others. I speak with a passion that goes unheard. They obey you because you are a leader, and perhaps something more. Have you noticed what has been happening? Have you felt it in them? They echo you, either fighting or surrendering to their feelings, their loyalty, their duty. Your mere presence serves as an example to them of something to uphold or something to fight against. Watch them carefully, see their patterns, and recognize the strength in it. Influence can be a weapon, one that you may need before your journey is done. I care not which of the words you use, as long as you make use of that which you forge. That was Revan's way, I believe. It was a strength. Ask. That crystal is bonded to you. Through you, it acquires its character and strength. And through it, your power is enhanced. Is there something else you wished? 
That crystal should is there. A discussion, perhaps. Ask. That crystal is there. He, if he can truly be called a man any longer, is one of the dark lords that pursues you. I do not think he knows what you are. Not yet. He spared the Miraluka, and that may have been the last shred of feeling that exists within him. Keep his slave close to you. I suspect there was a reason he spared her, and perhaps a reason that she survived when the rest of her people and the Jedi did not. Entertain what illusions you will. I am too tired to argue them with you. One cannot have power of that magnitude that her master possesses and still think and perceive the universe as we do, as most of us do. I had hoped that you would not have to confront him, but her presence here has changed all that. You will have to meet him in battle. You must be prepared to sacrifice the blinded one. Perhaps her death will buy you the time you need to deal with her master. Entertain what illusions you will. It is a technique that is almost as old as the Sith themselves. It is a means of severing connections between life, the Force, and feeding upon the death it causes. It cannot be taught. It can only be gained through instinct, through experiencing its effects firsthand. Yes, and he fed upon its destruction. It will sustain him for a time. Power, do you think so? You would be wrong. There is no strength in the hunger he possesses, and the will behind his power is a primal thing, and it devours him as he devours others. His mere presence kills all around him, slowly feeding him. He is already dead. It is simply a question of how many he kills before he falls. Nothing is impossible with the Force. It is an energy that flows through all living things, and like energy, it may be harnessed channeled and consumed at times. It may even be a substance that can burn and ignite. Do not think of his power as one would a weapon or one of your warships of the Republic. It is terrible, but it is still a subtle thing. The sect of assassins that chase you feed on the Force. What he does is simply the pinnacle of what they could achieve in time. And that is why they and their techniques must be wiped out no one again must experience and learn what her master did. As much as one may use the Force to bolster the wills and strengths of others, the reverse is possible, though not often used. Instead of sending one's will through connections in the Force, instead such connections are drawn upon, fed upon, and drained completely. Then you understand how terrible such a power is, and why it must be ended. It is an empty road to the dark side, and by traveling it, the price is death before one's time. He is a breach in the Force, capable of consuming the lives of those around him. Sometimes the touch is slow, as it is with his crew. It is not something he can direct or focus, much like hunger itself. He is more of a hole in the Force than a living thing. Force-sensitives and worlds rich in the Force draw him. The Miraluka world was one such place. That is why where the Jedi gather, Jedi will die. He will feel it, unless they mask their presence. But Katar called out as a beacon to him, and he could not resist it. And he cares nothing for the Sith, or its teachings, or the Jedi. And when the Jedi are dead, he will feed on the galaxy, the Republic, and eventually consume the Sith as well. There is no future in the empty galaxy he sees, and that is why he must be stopped. The breach must be sealed before his power grows beyond what even we can hope to stop. One cannot have power of that magnitude that her master possesses and still think and perceive the universe as we do, as most of us do. I had hoped that you would not have to confront him, but her presence here has changed all that. You will have to meet him in battle. You must be prepared to sacrifice the Blinded One. Perhaps her death will buy you the time you need to deal with her master. Ask, and I will answer.
a discussion. Ask. I misspoke. Ask. Ignorance. And perhaps they do not remember or care. It is of no consequence to me or to them. Am I? Then perhaps you should know. There are techniques in the Force, where one can cloud the memory of others, make their presence so small as to be unnoticed. And on the worlds where we have encountered these Jedi, there is much life and death where sensing such things is difficult. As I said, it is of no consequence to me or to them. No, but if I did, you would never know, so my words only carry as much worth as you believe them to. But perhaps you will understand this, that perhaps it is important to me that you see me and my actions uncloaked. It is important that your judgments, whether be good or bad, stem from seeing me as I truly am. I did not ask you to trust me. Charanana Gundoso Remina. Yes, is something. Yes, is something wrong?
Halt, settler. This is a restricted area. How the hell did you get through the Kinrath? You should leave. We are highly trained veterans, and you're just a settler with a toy blaster. We're taking the Jedi to Nar Shadda, and that is the end of that. I'm gonna say this nice and simple for your little calf hurting head. Unless you want to wind up dead, leave now. I follow my orders, and nothing you can offer will change that. Besides, we're gonna get rich off the bounty for this Jedi. I warned you, but I'm glad you didn't listen. Attack, men! Always rushing into action without thinking of the consequences. What? You're expecting thanks? Kunda is in danger, and you've ruined the best chance of averting a full-scale conflict. Right now, Dantuin is at a critical moment. If Kunda falls, then the Republic may lose control of this system. Still, I'm surprised you were able to get this far. Although you do have your Jedi training to fall back on, every action has consequences, no matter how small or insignificant they seem. And even the smallest choice has the potential for harm. The Mandalorian Wars was proof of this. Intentions mean nothing of a greater tragedy is caused. I need to get to Kunda and warn them. They could be attacked at any moment. The mercenaries have allied themselves with the Exchange and are planning to attack Kunda. They've been holding off for the right moment. And now, since they lost their captive Jedi, they'll attack immediately. I'm going to try to reach Administrator Adari. Time is of the essence. You are the Jedi I've heard reports of, and I am Azkul, 
leader of the mercenaries on Dantooine. Straight to the point. I like that. I will be equally direct. I am planning to take Kunda, and you're going to help me. According to my reports, I have four times as many soldiers as the militia, and I'm committed to taking Kunda. It is inevitable that I will succeed. If you wish to avoid my men eradicating the people of Dantooine, you will make it easier for me to take Kunda. Of course, I will pay well for your services. There are many ways someone with your abilities can aid us. Before the action begins, I have two main tasks in mind for you. Disable the gun turrets and the traps. Deal with the turrets, however you see fit. Just keep them from pestering my men. Decide quickly. I have a slaughter to plan. When the militia learns of our attack, they will plant traps around the entrances to Kunda. Disable them. Decide quickly. I have a slaughter to plan. Deal with the dis... When... Di Return to me when you are ready. You are the Jedi, I've heard. That is correct, and I... According to my report, it... Of... You'd better reconsider. I can't have a Jedi interfering with my plans. There is a considerable bounty on your kind that I will collect on, unless you're working for me. Men, I trust you can handle this Jedi. Straight to the... I am... A co it... Of... You'd better... Men, I trust you can handle this Jedi. Thank you. 
You are the Jedi. That is according to it of you better. There are many when the Melissa deal with the dis Return to me when you are ready for us. You are the jet. That is correct. Of course, it is of course. You. Men, I trust you can handle this Jedi. Trust you can handle this Jedi.
You are the jet straight to the. I am. Accord it of. You. There are many. Return. Yes. It are you ready? I won't wait long for you. Fine. The only thing. You will be paid, Jet. Men, I trust you can handle this Jedi. You are accord it, of course. You Men, I trust you can handle this Jedi. You are the jet straight to the I am according to it of You'd better re Men, I trust you can handle this Jedi. You 
you are the jet. According, it is, of course. You. Men, I trust you can handle this Jedi.
I don't suppose you're here to hire us. It's been a long time since we've had a paying job. Some of us are getting jumpy. Most of us are veterans, the really skilled. A sentient by the name of Azkul. He was an elite trooper for Malak during the Jedi's. We had a contract with the Republic, doing some now. We f a sentient by. I have time to kill. What if we do? They're practically... You sound like a flaming jet. So the galaxy is... The warrior returns. Getting tired of this planet yet? We've been planet bound too long for my... Stay out of our way and we'll stay out... Yes, is so that is Yes, General. Yes, General. I see you have found the elusive Master Rook. He's told me that his rescue complicated our situation to some degree. I can't say that I anticipated that. I thank you for finding him, though. Rook has informed me that the mercenaries devised a plan of attack to annihilate Kunda itself. I must ask for your aid again, Jedi. I've placed Zeron back in charge of Kunda's defense. Right or wrong, Zeron is the best man to lead the militia in this crisis. Zeron says that even with a plan, the mercenaries have to gather their forces, then coordinate their assault. So we still have time. 
I'm afraid the militia has not been adequately trained for the task that befalls them. Right now, just us and the militia. I don't want to create a needless panic. But be assured I will make sure that all civilians are warned in time so they can get to safety. Though if we lose this battle, nowhere on Dantooine will be safe for settlers for long. Our militia is effective at peacekeeping, but isn't prepared for a full-scale battle. If you can do anything to ready them for the reality of it, that would be helpful. Besides that, look around Kunda and see what you can do to strengthen our defenses. I know that we don't have the perimeter turrets online, and that alone could make a significant difference. Zeron says there is a considerable chance they will breach Kunda itself. Anything you can do to slow them down could turn the tide of battle. I have instructed the militia and other Kunda personnel that you are to be provided with anything that can be spared. Unfortunately, that isn't much. Here is a MasterCard key that will open all of the security doors inside Kunda. Anything that might aid you in your task, please use. Soon, all the civilians will be evacuated. So if you have any business with them, I suggest you take care of it. Whenever you are ready to finalize the defenses, talk with Zeron. Yes, General. Charanana Gundoso Remina. Thanks, stranger. I should be back to duty in no time. Thanks, stranger. Thanks, stranger. Thanks, stranger.
Charanana Gundoso Remina Charanana Gundoso Remina Kelra Terewana Jun Konata de la Guna Tuna Dare into Runto Wakare Que Wap Gerebu Ninso Telepachan Gosada Nane Terewana Jun Konata de la Guna Tuna Dare into Runto Wakare Que Wap Gerebu Terewana Jun Konata de la Guna Tuna Dare into Runto Wakare Dare into run to walk away quay wap gerebu, then so Charanana Gundo That was a kind act. It is good to see that one can still show compassion, even after the war. And that is why I follow you, General. Lead on. Having you here has an effect on me, General. I never noticed it years ago. I think my mind was too occupied then. I feel calm, more in control. The anger is still there, but I can feel it drifting away. The last years of my life have been defined by it. The Mandalorians, Zerka, and Revan. And above all else, myself, for Malachor. Never, General. It had to be done. My hands destroyed the Mandalorians. I cannot be forgiven for that. Even if I did it out of hatred of the Mandalorians? My feelings are bad enough without having to worry about Jedi problems. My anger is nothing compared to the blood on my hands. Even if there isn't, I still feel like I need to do something to make up for it. Under your guidance, I feel like I could overcome my anger.
Do you require anything else? Soon. We've been told to provide you with anything you need. Zeron was right about the mercenaries all along. trouble, but you might just be the right sort of trouble we need. The mercenaries aren't quick to mobilize, so you have time to do what you need. Or are you ready to finalize the defense plans? Inspecting the perimeter, talking to the troops and coming up with a battle plan. I fought in a war. When you're ready, come back. Thanks for the help. Welcome back to Kunda. Yes, General? Don't cause any more trouble for Dan to enough. You'll find little welcome here. I will answer your she was the agriculture. We did, but after the difference, the farm. There also been a, a farmer here and there, so there. Time left before the mercenaries attack. All right, then we got a lot to do. Since you are here to bolster Kunda's defense, I will hurry to the mercenary camp and delay their assault however I can. I imagine that the mercenaries have got two goals in this whole thing kill me and kill the administrator. The rest of the settlers won't have courage to resist if they succeed. It's not that the settlers aren't good people. Many folk just don't have the fighting mentality. They'd rather just make people happy and get along. 
But there isn't any getting along with Azkol. He's out for blood and taking the place over. So we gotta protect the Administrator. Kunda can go on without me, but not without her. The Administrator's locked up in her office tight, which means that the Mercs have to go through us and Kunda's defenses. Thanks to you, they're gonna have a tougher job. That's about it. Now we just need to dig in and wait for the Mercs to come. Well, I'll tell them what's there to do. I'm not much for words. All right, I'll assemble the men. I hope you can speak good. I don't have the words. That was really something. I think any one of them would take a blaster bolt for you now. Let's get ready for the mercenaries. If we fall here, all of Dan Twin falls with us. So you're the Jedi. I take it you are responsible for the surprises we've had during this battle. Stand aside. Our quarrel is with a distinguished administrator. This isn't your problem. You have no idea who you're talking to. I was going to spare your worthless life. I see I was in error. I was trained at Malak's Academy. Your tricks won't work on me. You're just another dead Jedi to me. Sorry I was held up, but it looks like I've arrived in time to pull you out of your predicament. Kill them all.
Thank you so much for your aid. You can be sure that Don Duin will not forget how the Jedi protected us from this place. We are a humble community, and this conflict has greatly diminished our resources. I hope this reward will be sufficient. I am humbled by your generosity. I will put this to good use. Now, if you'll excuse me, I have much work to do. Don Duin will be slow to rebuild, but I am confident now that we will one day achieve prosperity. Kunda is safe in no small part due to you. I feel certain that the Administrator wouldn't have made it without your assistance. I may have misjudged you. In any case, I am free to talk about whatever you wish. You have seen the end of your trial? Perhaps you would like to explain how you came to this knowledge. That was intended only for the Jedi Council. If what remains of the Council chooses to tell you, then I will abide by their decision and its consequences. There is little I can tell you. Master Kavar felt something had happened to you in the war, but all he had was suspicions, not truths. And Kavar was too close to you in any event. He, too, felt the call of war and took to battle more than a Jedi should. His speculations would not help you now, but enough of this. It is knowledge for the Council alone until they choose to reveal it. Do you have more questions for me? There are a few of us left. But I do not even know if the others still live. We may be the last. We have been forced to divide our forces and retreat to places which will be difficult for our enemies to detect and attack. We have chosen to hide our presences from each other, so that the discovery of one will not endanger the others. We cannot. And we have resolved not to until we have found where the Sith are striking from. But even as our numbers thin, there is still no trace of them. We had hoped to outmaneuver them. By letting them believe themselves victorious, we thought they would become bold and step from the shadows. Then, all of us who remained vowed to meet here on Dantooine. From here, we can plan a course of action and carry the battle to them. But so far, they remain in hiding and Jedi continue to vanish and die. Do you have more questions for me? Have they? I've seen no evidence of them upon Dantooine. Only murderers and raiders. Why would they attack you? You are no Jedi. You cannot feel the Force. Perhaps it is Dantooine, but I do not feel such from you. I feel nothing but what I felt in the Council Judgment Chamber on Coruscant so long ago. Still, you and your connections were often a subject of debate in the Council. It is possible that returning to known space, journeying with others, has caused the Force to stir within you again. Though it seems unlikely the Sith would bother with you. For some reason, I believe you. Still, I am curious as to how they would know to find you. Your trial was not public knowledge. Regardless, these Sith have struck, and you survived. This is more knowledge than I had before. And that means the Jedi may gather. If you can find others, or find some trace of the Sith threat, then we shall gather here on Dantooine. And from there we may decide what can be done. You have more questions for me? I suppose there is something I should show you. It will keep you alive long enough to prove useful. 
I'm only going to demonstrate this once. This is the Sheen form, a defensive stance that's good when you're outnumbered, which is most of the time. This form will increase your ability to deflect blaster fire, and it increases the odds of dealing critical strikes against your attackers. <laughs> I don't know how you learned that so quickly. Still, your form is sloppy. Keep practicing to tighten it up and you'll be fine. Is there? Must be hearing things, but for a moment. it, did you not? The time to hide your presence is coming to a close, and you will need to increase your training. You are ready. Your training must increase, and there are higher mysteries you must learn. But only you must know the path you will take. I cannot choose it for you. Is it battle that stirs you? To meet an enemy blade upon blade? Such is the way of the greatest of Jedi warriors, the weapon masters. Or perhaps it is investigating the mysteries of the galaxy, seeking out injustice and harm, and bringing it into the light. Such is the way of the Jedi Watchmen in the time of Ulik Keldroma and Exar Kun. Or perhaps your way lies upon the ancient mysteries, and to teach others the ways of the Force, as I have, the way of the Jedi Masters. It is not some great test you require to be what you strive to be. It is only your decision to find that path that matters. From here on, you guide your destiny. But in order to take the next steps, you must face your past and put it to rest. 
Yes, have That crystal is bonded to you through you. Most interesting. Your crystal does not perf- Is there something else you- I misspoke but ask he 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 Yes. That cr let me f there. Now it is fully in tune. Is there something else? That crystal is should your is there something else? That crystal should your power increase or your resolve change? Is there something Is something wrong? At times I meditate, simply close my eyes and listen. It is quite calming. I try to treasure these moments before the next crisis begins. Of course, it would be my pleasure. I try to treasure these moments. Yes, General.
My life for yours. I will answer. It is not something I speak. I will answer. I am not familiar, but there are. I will answer. My master did. There are where will they be? I will answer. My people, that's. My sight has been. My master, he it is not. Yes, have very well. Very well, sit with me. You have brushed the surface thoughts of another. It is a start. Calm yourself. This time, silence your own thoughts, keep them still. Imagine the waters of the room of a thousand fountains, each stream suddenly falling silent and still. Imagine the ice of Telos, cold and smooth as it gathers upon the plateau. Now, stretch out. Feel the ship around you. Strip away the metal and see the souls and minds of those that fill its corridors with more thoughts and dreams and worries than can fill the space of this ship. As my feet walk from the ashes of Qatar, I shall not fear, for in fear lies death, and... How could the Jedi leave the Republic? Was it because of the Civil War? Is it possible that they... Switch the face of the plus one, minus one card. The totals are nine, ten. Switch the face of the plus two, minus two card. The total is eight, eleven. Switch... Your command echoes still, General, and I obey, as I did at Malakor. As my feet walk from the ashes of Qatar, switch the face of the plus one I minus shall one not card. Fear. The totals are nine ten. Fear. Switch the face of the plus two. Your command death. echoes card. still, General, the total is eight, and I obey, switch. as I did at Malakor. Not now. Focus on my voice. Malakor. Now do you hear me? Truly hear me. You have taken the first steps on a much longer road, Exile. The droid cannot be read in such a way. As for the alien who served with you in the war, its thoughts are more difficult, requiring many translations in meaning. Often it is better to read their impulses and images than their spoken thoughts. That is why he is deaf to you. I have found his impulses are cold, like a dead weight. His thoughts are black. Indeed. It is strange that I did not. Perhaps I would not put much weight on such things. Of course there was. It is because Atten was not playing Pazak, yet he counts cards in his head. At times he will list off engine sequences memorize the hyperspace routes on the other side of the galaxy, count the ticking in the power couplings, even though they are fixed. At other times, he will imagine certain base lusts, certain indignities. It may be Atten is far cleverer than he feigns to be, or perhaps he is simply a fool. Something up? Passes the time. It's better than listing off engine sequencers, memorizing hyperspace routes, or counting ticks in the power couplings. 
Of course it's fixed. And that's why you should count the ticking in the power coupling, too. Why do I play Pazak? All right, I'll show you. Good match. Now, what are you thinking about right now? Right. And that's why I play Pazak in my head. Because if you don't, you've left the door open, and anyone could walk right in. Ah, I play Pazak in my head. But while I'm doing that, it's a lot harder for someone to walk in. No, I can only teach you to play Pazak. Do you understand what I'm saying? Good. Now you understand. All right, I'll deal then. If you're ever fighting someone who has the power over your mind, whether light or dark, play Pazak. Start listing hyperspace routes, recite engine sequencers, and when they try to use their powers on you, suddenly it's not as easy as they thought. Because you'll be right here with me, playing Pazak, where they can't reach you. Something up? All right. Yes, have you? That crystal, should you? Is there something else? I know her. Ah. And? Because it was its time. Her. The Mandalorians. I feel that Yes. Very well. Ah. Now. Every step on our journey, and for every planet we reach, 